This is Martin L. Shoemaker, also known as the UML Guy, and today I'm very excited to be able to talk to you about Visual Studio Team Systems Next Generation, codename Rosario, recently released is the April 2008 Community Tech Preview. And given that I am the UML Guy, what excites me most about it is the UML features we're going to look at. Today we're going to look at just one of the cool features that they've added into the team system which is reverse engineering sequence diagrams. Now, I'm going to do a little cheating here. This is preview software running on a virtual PC on a somewhat old machine. It's going a little slow. I'm going to skip over a lot of the slow parts for you and just show you the good parts. I'm going to show you what the results are, but I'm not going to show you steps along the way, and I'm going to skip over lots of hourglass time so that you can just see the final results. So in this stage, I'm creating a project. We're going to call this project the Zoo Management System. And this is pretty much standard vanilla Visual Studio solution creation. So this is nothing new. But this is where we're going to have all of our work artifacts and all of our UML artifacts will reside as part of this project. So the Zoom management system is going to consist of a number of different websites, all communicating through a common web service, which connects up to a business rules layer, which connects up to a database. And somewhere while your back is turned, I write all this code and... Well... It builds. We can ship it, right? But do we really know what it can do? Well, this is one example where Video Rosario can help us understand what it can do. So I'm going to go in and look at my Architecture Explorer. Now, I think of the Architecture Explorer in Team System Rosario as being somewhat analogous to query builders in SQL Server or Access. It's not quite the same, but it's got some similarities. What you'll see in the query in the Architecture Explorer is a column of information that's known as part of the project. And each time you click on a column, a new column opens up to the right of it that somehow relates to what's in the previous column. So for instance, here we're looking at things that are contained within the Zoo Management System project. And as we click additional things in the third column, the fourth column populates with all our choices relative to that. So we look at what's contained within the Zoo Manager project, and we see a number of classes. As we click on those classes, we see that they are appearing in the graph view, which is below the columns. And we get to see how these relate to each other. So here... Let's take a look at the graph view, and we will see all the different relationships known in this code that Visual Studio Team System can read from the code structure itself. What contains what, what references what, what makes use of what, and so on. We can even see information contained within individual classes, the properties, the methods, the fields, and so on. So here, in fact, one of the things we're going to show in this diagram is the assign species to habitat method, which is a member of the scheduler class in this library. Now, let's assume our team has legacy code for this that all of a sudden now we have to maintain. So we want to create a diagram of what happens inside of assign species to habitat. So we're going to add to our project a list of items or a diagram from this list of items. Now take a look at this list of items. We've got new features we didn't have before Rosario. Activity diagrams, use case diagrams, logical class diagrams, component and sequence diagrams, all valuable UML diagrams. So we're going to add a sequence diagram. We're going to give it the same name as the method. Now, ideally, I'm hoping in the future that Team System will be able to have a more direct link than just a naming convention. But again, this is a community tech preview. They're still defining the feature set. So we create this diagram. 
tell Visual Studio to add it. And we will see after we make a little space by collapsing some of our toolbox toolboxes, we will see a typical blank sequence diagram. Now I could use this sequence diagram just as traditionally have been done with UML tools to draw pictures either to design new code or to learn about the structure and behavior of old code. We could do that, but the beauty of Rosario is we can work automatically. I go back to my Architecture Explorer, go back to my Assign Species to Habitat method, and one of the items in the column to the rightmost is Insert into Active Diagram. And that's it. There's a picture of the methods that are called by one object to another object within that assigned species to habitat method. We see methods being called. We get, see properties getting set. We get properties getting queried. We get all this information going down the page as time flows and across the page from object to object. And then we can zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole diagram at once. And there's a picture, and it's zoomed out just a little far to be readable, but you can see that we're seeing pretty much the entire flow of that method here within this diagram. Now, this is just one of the cool UML stories that are part of Visual Studio Team System Rosario. There will be a lot more coming. Keep an eye on the umlguy.com where I will be showing off Rosario and also talking about UML, UML tips, quizzes, techniques, and talking about my upcoming UML classes.